Washington Redskins owner Dan Snyder met with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell earlier this week in New York to discuss the controversy surrounding the team's name. Now, according to the uh, Washington Post report on all this, Snyder reiterated he has no plans uh, to change the name. Michael Maslansky is the CEO of Maslansky and Partners, and Charles Payne is also with us to talk about this. I mean, we could get into the whole thing about whether the name should change or not, and feel free at some point. But let's just, for our purposes, talk about if, it, if they were going to change the name, say, they made that decision, is it automatic that it would be a good money decision? In other words, Michael, do you think people would buy more jerseys? Or do they, it would be a huge risk because you would change a name that everybody is so familiar with? What do you think? Well, I think you've got a short-term challenge in that you're going to have a lot of fans who are really disappointed with the name change, even though right. I think it's necessary. Uh, so there's going to be a short-term backlash. Ultimately, people are going to want to support the team. And I think you, you have a lot of opportunities to sell merchandise. You also have a lot of costs associated with making that branded change. And, and speaking of sidetrack, this does get us away a little bit from the money discussion. but. Just the, do you understand, let me ask you this as a short answer, how some Native Americans might I don't know that some do. That, that's my point. I've well, been to a lot of games. Some, some have said publicly they do, they do. But how many were saying this before it became the topic du jour? Uh, two, or three week, two or three months ago. But you don't understand how they could be no, offended. I know. Someone tells me offended. Someone could be offended by a whole lot of things. I mean, right. America has 300 million people in it. Someone's always offended by something that someone says or does. I did not see a big groundswell of Native Americans I, protesting this name. Yeah, but, but I think we've seen this story play out before. And I think even if it's not a majority of, of Native Americans, even if it's just a fraction of Native Americans, they've now got a, a story that they're going to hold on to. It's a bit like being attacked by a pit bull, right? That goes you can to run Dickens. away for a while, Question. but as soon as you get bit, that pit bull is not going away. And this is not going to go away for the Redskins well, so they should until change they, well, they, they're going to change the like, name. It's a question of when. Oh, you do think that? Really? Absolutely. It's, well, because Syracuse changed the name. A lot they were the people. Orange Men. Right. Now they're Syracuse Orange. There have right. been a lot of team name changes. And I would say, is the support for Syracuse any less today than it was before? Absolutely not. So why not just do it? I'm a lifelong Redskins fan. And so I, under, I, I, you know, I understand an attachment to a name, but I think at some point, I just think that the owner on. just feels like he's being pushed around. And why should he change it? Because Dagan wants him to change it. And you know what? I agree. I'm not going to change things about me that other people me. don't. But like. you think he's I doing it because of principle, not because of money. That was the original oh, yeah, question. Yeah, I mean, money. Listen, happen. when Michael Jordan changed his number, they ended up making yeah, they more sold money. the 45 yeah, money maker right, because everyone's got to buy the new Michael. name and the new jerseys. jerseys. It's yeah. going to get radioactive, right? All of a sudden, it people are not going to be able to associate with the Redskins name. San Francisco Chronicle, not exactly a conservative, you know, newspaper, has already said they won't use the name. What's going to happen is, and what always plays out in these situations, right, is advertisers who are fundamentally very conservative decide that they need to disassociate. They find other places to put their money. All of a sudden, Dan Snyder starts getting squeezed, and he can stand on principle as much as he wants. Ultimately, he's going to change the name. Quickly, the as a fan, though, I want to ask Charles this as a fan. If they pick a really good name... <laughs> like the, the Zulu the, the, Warriors. Wh whatever. <laughs> if they pick a really good name that identifies okay itself with, it, right? with the team and the history of the team and the area it's located, fans won't care, yes or no? Uh, the Not fans will initially, I think you had it right, initially there will be some backlash because I think even the fans feel like they're being pushed around. And all polls, even polls, the most recent polls of Native Americans said that the majority didn't find it offensive. But ultimately, people Michael, love their teams. Maybe right that eventually it will change. It's yeah. just a matter of, that's yeah. what you think, a matter of time. So, hey, uh, it's a, yeah, thanks. It's a good discussion, obviously. We'll come back to it. Well, we may have to if Michael's right and well, they end yeah. up changing it. I think the bigger problem for them is a winning re season. I think that's <laughs> oh, my God, right? So you're talking I about mean, about I mean, avert your eyes. <laughs>